Because it's really useful to not defend yourself too vociferously. Which is weird, because you'd think, mm -hmm. well, you have the right to defend yourself, like, no, all, no holds barred. It's like, no, it actually doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's that you have to defend yourself with minimal necessary force. And I think I managed that in the Channel 4 interview. For Thank sure. God. Yeah. But, I mean, believe me, people have been talking to me about that nonstop for 15 months, and I'm listening. And I'm by listening. the way, it wouldn't work as well if you hadn't done that. Right? If you just shellacked her. Mm -hmm. Right. If you if you just gone right at her and said what you are saying is so stupid for these five reasons, yeah. <laughs> it would it would have been bad. I think. I think, the, I fact think so that, the, the fact that you sat there and you just said no, you're asking good questions, and you know the fact that you're asking good questions demonstrates the invalidity of your entire viewpoint. Yeah. <laughs> and well, that that was much more effective. Mm -hmm. well, right. Me, right. Well, and that's see see one of the things I've been meditating on for the last year is there's a line in the New Testament that says resist not evil. I think okay, what okay, what the hell are you supposed to do with that <laughs> line? It's like. Because it's really a difficult thing to figure out. Do you really mean that? You don't resist evil? Well, there's a couple of problems. Is If you punch back, then you have a fight. Well, but you can't just not defend yourself, mm -hmm. like weakly. You can't be mm -hmm. weak and not defend yourself. But you can be strong and defend yourself minimally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a real art. Like, that's, that's the essence of sophistication, I would say. Yeah. And, like, I'm not... You know, I come from kind of a rough place. I come from northern Alberta. I come from the frontier, you know? Yeah. And my town was scraped out of the bloody prairie 50 years before people moved, before, before I lived there. And so uh, it's, it's, been an, it's been a continual challenge to adjust my sophistication to the level of challenge. And I've, I'm trying to do that, and, do you think but that, I don't always manage it. Yeah, so to that point, do you think that we sometimes actually at a deep level, use identity politics against ourselves in, in this regard. So you're sitting across from Kathy, she's female. Yeah. At some level, do you think you maybe moderated it because of that? Because had it been a male, you know, and, and you talk about this often, that we have to act differently towards males and females, and there's, a physical, there's physical reasons for that and biological reasons for that. But that had she been a male, say, say the same exact age from you, from Alberta, yeah. and all of that, that perhaps your response might have been a little more forceful. It's, even, it's, even though you're, we're, we're all agreeing your response was done correctly and, yeah. and even-handedly. Yeah, well, I, it's hard to say, but probably yes. You That's know, interesting. Well, because, you did, like, I, can't, I don't think that you can say that you fight with a woman the same way that you fight with a man. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you can't fight with a woman, it doesn't mean you shouldn't, but I don't think the rules are the same. Now, why are the rules different? Well, some of the rules are, there's a physical limit that's much more stringent, right? I mean, there's a level of hinting at physical threat that you can bring to bear in a conversation between men that you cannot bring to bear in a conversation with a woman. Mm -hmm. So, and the me mechanics of that are very, very subtle and difficult. And it's especially challenging in an intellectual discussion because an intellectual discussion is a kind of war. And it isn't obvious how men and women should go to war with one another. We don't know, we don't know how to sort that out. Mm -hmm. um, you, my sense has been on the panels that I've done is that I definitely have to pull my punches if I'm on a panel with women. It doesn't mean that I don't, it doesn't mean that it's any less challenging intellectually, but the, st the strategy and the attitude has to be different. It's much more likely that you'll be seen as a bully if you bring the same force to bear on a female opponent as you would on a male opponent.